In this video we are going to go over all of the recent farming games that has been released to the Nintendo Switch and I will let you know which ones are good and which ones are bad. And on my Nintendo Switch I have a group with all of the farming games that I currently have on the Switch. Well at least all of the, uh, the noteworthy farming games on the Switch, let's say. And I'm gonna go quickly through all of them and tell you what I think. The most recent game, which is a game that I'm still kind of new to, and it was also very recently released, Harvest Moon The Winds of Antos. I bought this game, it was about $50 I think. There is of course fishing and farming, and it's an open world this time around. Now this is Harvest Moon in name only, because this is Natsume's Harvest Moon, not to be confused with Story of Seasons. Now I have to do a voiceover and say that when I recorded this I was only four hours in and I was saying that the game was boring, but after about four or five hours the game opens up and it becomes so incredibly good just hang in there and try to upgrade your barn after that it becomes an open world game where you can collect all of these pieces of the map it's taking a lot of inspiration from Zelda Breath of the Wild this way and the game also becomes better when you have more stamina so just remember that this game has a rough start but I am really happy with the game after the five hour mark now, Rune Factory 5, maybe actually my favorite farming game on the Switch, but I feel like I have done everything in the game. I have 100 hours into this. I want to start a new save file, actually, because currently there's nothing for me to do in my big save file. Now, the performance is not very good, but if you look past that, this is a very solid and good game. I like the farming mechanics. I like how fast you can plant and water and grow your crops. It's very satisfying. It also has action combat and magic magic and all of the other elements that you can expect to find in a life simulator. I was very happy with my time in Rune Factory 5. I had a blast. Now next up, Fay Farm. This one is worth the money. The price point is high, but I feel like you get value in this game in particular. I'm having such a wonderful time in Fay Farm, still playing it. And I feel like a lot of the mechanics they have gotten so correctly in this farming game. Farming is fast and smooth. You have the mines, you have several mines actually. And I like all of the collectibles. It's such a pleasant game to play. Highly recommend Fay Farm, that is a yes. Definitely. Dreamlight Valley, there is farming in it, but there's also a ton of other things in it. If you haven't played it already, I think you absolutely should, if you like this genre to begin with. The life simulator genre and a bit of farming, and also it has all of the Disney characters. It is such a good game. It performs bad on the Switch, and that is gonna be something I repeat throughout this video, definitely. This one performs bad on the Switch, because the Switch is a tablet, gotta remember that. Dreamlight Valley is also out on stronger platforms, but it is a good game. Very good. <clears throat> Next up, Dragon Quest Builders 2. One of my most played and most favorite games on the entire Nintendo Switch. This one I have played to death and I recently dipped back into it. Now, is it a farming game? N no, not really, but there is a lot of focus on farming in this game in particular, much more so than they did in Dragon Quest Builders, the first one, which is also on the Switch. But this one is the best of the two. I do not think you can go wrong with this game. I have had such a blast in it. So good. Now we have Wildflowers, also a good recommendation. It is a very wholesome farming game and it has the best dialogue and interactions with the NPCs across all recent memory when it comes to farming games, I gotta say. So this is the game for you if you wanna feel like the dialogue is meaningful and the story has meaning. So I'm very happy with Wildflowers also. Really, really good farming game. Life simulator. Cozy game. Now, Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. That was released earlier this year and it is a remake of an older game. It definitely has its moments. It's not a bad game. It's not the very best game. I have a full review of this game actually. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the card in the corner for you to watch later if this game seems interesting to you. I can recommend it, but there are a few things that you need to know before you purchase that game and I go over that in my review. <laughs> Lord. Okay, next up, Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. This is a game 
that was really good. This one was also really good. Now, maybe the downside now in hindsight was that it had a lot of makers. There was a big emphasis and big focus on the makers of the game, which means crafting. But I enjoy crafting, I enjoy collecting, I enjoyed customizing my farm, and you can make your farm really pretty in this one. However, there's not much of a story and not much of uh, meaningful dialogues. Definitely not. But it's still a game that I have had a ton of fun in. Rune Factory 3 Special, I talked about that in uh, my previous video or the video before that and it doesn't necessarily hold up to today's standards because this is also a remake of a very old game for the Nintendo DS. I would say no when it comes to Rune Factory 3 for the average farming person because it is not very beginner friendly at all, it's very hard. Uh, so that would be maybe a no, maybe, maybe. Okay, next up, Big Farm Story. This is a game that I played on PC like a year ago and it was ported over to the Switch and I was like, wow, there you go. There's that game. It is not bad and it's not very good. It is very mid, very mid. If you find this on sale, you're gonna have a good time in it. It's not bad. But you can kind of feel that it was intended to be played on PC because when you navigate the menus, it feels kind of awkward. But yeah, on sale. Get it, get it on sale. Now we have Harvestella. A lot of people are saying this is a really good game, but I never really truly, honestly, got truly into it. Never really did. The story is a strong one in Harvestella. They did the story really good. However, I feel like there's still just something with the game. Also, the graphics are really blurry. <laughs> it's a game, definitely. Um, so that is maybe. That's a maybe for me, okay? Next up, Everdream Valley. This is a straight out no from me, no. Well, first of all, it performs so bad on the Switch. Incredibly bad. It looks bad and it plays bad. When I started Everdream Valley for my first time on the Switch, I was so shocked by the bad graphics and performance of the game. It runs and looks, however, perfect on PC, so this is just a bad port. Now, the game in itself, it's fun for the first hours, but it wasn't fun after a few hours. I don't know what happened, but it did not hook me at all. Ooblets, a very recent purchase that I did. And I remember some other content creators saying that Ooblets was the best game ever. And I'm not feeling that, not feeling that at all with my little time that I've had in Ooblets so far. I do not think this is a game that I will continue playing. Uh, I'm sorry, I do not think that. My time at Porsche was really good when it came out. It had a lot of things that I had never seen before at the point in time when I played it. However, now going back, it's more or less uh, what we can expect for today's standards with farming live sim games. Performs also rather bad on the Switch, which is something I definitely will repeat so many times in this video. And on that note, I also started my time in Sandrock, which is pretty much the same thing as my time in Porsche. At Porsche? Porsche? At Porsche. I'm mixing up the at and the in. Uh, pretty much the same thing. If you enjoyed my time in Porsche, at Porsche, <laughs> you will also enjoy the Sandrock one. It's just the same thing. Animal Crossing New Horizons. You already have it. It does have farming in it. Somewhat. I do not need to go further into Animal Crossing. Definitely not, okay? No place like home. I do not recommend this game. It was fun to clean up your farm. After that, it feels like a very low budget game. And I had no more fun in that game. So that was no place like home. Very good. Sprout Valley. It's a rather new indie title game where you play as a cat who also does farming. It's not what I would reach for if I want to play a good farming game. I'm gonna put it like that. Graveyard Keeper does have farming in it and I still love it. It's been some years since I played it last, but all of my memories are really fond, fond memories <laughs> with Graveyard Keeper. So that is a yes if you haven't played Graveyard Keeper. So yes from me. 
Rune Factory 4 Special, that is also a yes from me. If you are between Rune Factory 3 and 4, 4 is superior. It's just better. It's actually better on the 3DS, which was the original release, if you ask me. If you ask me, you know. But still a good game. One of the better Rune Factories, oh, absolutely. Yonder, the Cloud Capture Chronicles, an older game by now, but it did have farming in it and I had a ton of fun in it. Everyone did. I'm pretty sure everyone did. Really cute game. Maybe some of you have never seen it before, so that's why I bring it up, I guess. Stardew Valley needs no further introduction doesn't really need anything said about it. It's one of the top selling farming games of all time. And you know it. <laughs> Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town remake on the Switch. I had a fun time in it. It's really good. I have a review of it. It's not up there with the better titles, like for example Fae Farm and Wildflowers necessarily, but it's still a good game and I have a feeling you will not regret anything if you go for that. Spiritfarer, I recommend Spiritfarer. It's not the longest game in the world, but I definitely recommend you have a go in that game. It's side-scrollery, it does have some farming, but it's not a farming game. Now, Grow Song of the Evertree was a game that I thought was really cute and beautiful, but I didn't play it much. I ended up leaving it pretty early. But I don't necessarily have anything bad to say about it. Kitaria Fables. I don't necessarily have anything bad to say about Kitaria Fables either. It's just a game that I didn't play a lot. Doraemon Story of Seasons. I did not like this game at all. I am not familiar with Doraemon to begin with and I did not like the sounds that he made. So no, that is a no from me. Littlewood is also a no from me. I remember people saying that it was so good when it was released, but I did not get it. This is not a good game, was what I was thinking. Sakuna of Rise and Ruin is not necessarily a farming game to begin with. I would classify this more as an action RPG, but I have it in this folder because it is a big emphasis on growing this rice. Watch some reviews of it. Uh, Stranded Sails Explorers of the Cursed Islands. I did enjoy this game. It has a rough start and the stamina mechanic in this one is also terrible. But once you get into it and start exploring the other islands, I had a fun time. Also, it's really cute. It's a cute game. So that is uh, maybe, maybe on sale. Lul. Garden Paws, another game that other content creators loved, but I didn't. Not at all. I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> this game is terrible. Uh, I'm not enjoying anything in it. And then we have Summer in Mara. Terrible game. Steer clear of this one. This is a very no from me. Very no. Dayland is also very no. They're not worth it. I mean, $5 maximum on sale is what I want to say to those. Okay, so that was us really quickly going through my farming folder on my Nintendo Switch. Am I missing out on any good farming games? Let me know down below. And also I want to hear what your favorite farming games are. Are you disagreeing with anything that I said? I want to know everything. I have always been a fan of farming games, ever since the first Harvest Moon that came out on the Super Nintendo. That is maybe arguably also the first life sim ever created. This is the genre for me. Loving farming games, loving life simulators. And I'm so happy that now we're in an era where this is more and more popular for everyone. Everyone has gotten their eyes up for this genre. Very happy about that. So many good farming games on the Switch, definitely. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.